can you help me? Hi Yan, what can I help you? Can you explain the material about the combination of my personality? Oh, yeah, of course, come sit next to me. We start from the understanding first, yeah. A combination is to combine several objects from a group without regard to order. In combinations, the order is not considered. Oh, so the combination doesn't pay attention to the order, yeah. Yaps, that's right. Then, then, how is the formula, angle? So, for the formula is... Oh, can you give an example, so that I can understand, angle? Oh yes, of course. Given a group of 10 students, ten, uh, three of them are chosen to pick up books for the class. Okay, so we're choosing a group of three students to go pick up books. That group of three is the same group of three whether I pick Sally first and Eddie and John, or if I pick John first and then Sally and Eddie, it doesn't matter. It's one group of students. So anytime you have a group where the order doesn't matter, this that one's a combination. Okay, so how do we figure it out? Well, we're going to use this little formula for combination. We're going to take N choose R or NCR, where N is the total number of participants. In this case, it's 10 students. And then R is how many we're choosing, which in this case is three. So this is going to be 10 with a combination choosing three. So in our formula, we're going to put 10 factorial on top. And then on the bottom, we're going to take 10 minus 3 factorial all times another 3 factorial. So we're dividing twice on a combination because we're going to have less possible outcomes than a permutation. A combination is always going to have less than a permutation with the same group and the same choices because you're dividing twice and the, the groups don't, the order doesn't matter and that's why. So take a minute and kind of think through that. So let's write this out. So I have a 10 factorial over, this ends up being a seven factorial because 10 minus three is seven. So let's write it out as 10 times nine times eight times seven factorial on top all divided by 7 factorial times, and I'm going to write the 3 out, the 3 times 2 times 1, so we can do some reducing. Okay, the 7 factorials cancel, and then I can reduce 3 and 9, just to 3, and 2 and 8, I can reduce that to 4. So really, I'm just taking 12 times 10, so that's 120. So that means there are 120 different ways I can choose three students to go get books from a group of 10 students. That's how a combination. Thank you, Angle, for helping me to better understand combination material. You're welcome, Yan. Oh,